Welcome to Unilad Adventure. This week, we're exploring the beautiful city of Amsterdam and showing you some of the best experiences you can have in this European gem. There's a few great ways to get around in Amsterdam, but the best has to be by hiring a bike and joining in with the locals. The average price for a bike is 10 euros a day, with some multi-day rates at around 8 euros. Alternatively, it's a great tip to grab yourself a travel chip card. These will allow you onto all public transport in the Netherlands and they cost 7 euros 50 a day. We also tried out Uber, but with the one-way systems and the heavy traffic, it just wasn't the best choice. Amsterdam is one of the most picturesque cities in the world, and getting lost on its streets is one of the best things you can do here. There's something new to discover with every town, but here are some of our favourites. The Neges Rachis is an area in the heart of the city that's made up of nine small streets that straddle the canals. It's known as Amsterdam's most picturesque micro-neighbourhood and it's full of vintage clothes stores, bakeries and cafes. You absolutely have to check this place out, even if it's just to snap a few photos. Holland is famous for its street food, particularly when it comes to baked goods and sweet treats. The street waffle is their staple, and you can find the most traditional handcrafted street waffles at Confectionery Landscreen. We were able to go behind the scenes here and see just how they've been making this iconic treat for generations. It's made with two thin layers of dough and filled with caramel syrup. But here at Confectionery Landscreen, they treat their street waffle making as an art form, and it really shows through in the final product. If you're not a big fan of caramel, then try Van Stapel. It's just a couple of doors down, and it's the home of the best stuffed cookies you'll ever try. These are double chocolate on the outside, stuffed with white chocolate on the inside, and they taste incredible. Along the canals, you'll find many interesting attractions, from the famous Anne Frank House and the Flower Market to the more bizarre, like this cat museum, which is fun to explore but kind of creepy as well. It's filled with artwork, ornaments, and even personal letters written to the cats that live there, who you're fully free to interact with as you walk around. There's also a lot of coffee shops that you can chill in around this area. If you love beer, then you should definitely check out the Heineken experience. The tour costs 18 euros and it takes about two hours. In that price, you'll also get two tokens to enjoy ice cold beers in their bar. But you get given another beer during the tour as well, so it works out as a pretty good deal. You'll learn all about the history of the brand and see how they make and bottle their special brew. There's even an option to print your own custom bottle for an additional cost. The Heineken experience is right on the edge of one of the most trendy neighborhoods in the city. The pipe is full of quirky cafes, bars, and one of a kind boutiques. It's also where you'll find the Netherlands' largest street market, Albert Quid Market. Here you can get your hands on some more traditional street food, including the famous little Dutch pancakes called puffages, more modern chocolate-dipped street waffles and savoury treats. They also have souvenirs and clothing. Given the size and popularity of this market, you'd think it would be packed. And whilst it is busy, there's still plenty of room to move about and enjoy what's around you. Jordan is another stunning neighbourhood that sits along the canals. There's some really great street art around here, and the traditional buildings look like something out of a storybook. It's a great place to take some photos and soak in the culture around you. In Jordan, you'll find Bob's Sweets. This was voted the number one sweet shop in Amsterdam on TripAdvisor. They hand roll and coat their signature bonbons in store and offer a great range of flavours. If you're a real foodie, then you'll appreciate the food, Helen. This modern food market is set in an old tram depot. You won't find much Dutch food here because it's internationally themed and features food from all over the world, with everything from dim sum and sushi to tacos and burgers. It's a great place to come with a group because there's so much to choose from, and there's a couple of nice bars inside as well. You'll find the food, Helen, in the Oud West area, and it's really easy to get there on the tram. Back in the city centre, the museum quarter has something for everyone. From the classics to the modern, there's an awful lot to see here. There's currently a Banksy exhibit on at Moco, and you can learn all about Amsterdam's art and history at the Rijksmuseum. Even if you're not the kind of person who visits museums, it's still worth taking a walk around here for the incredible architecture. This is also where you'll find the I Amsterdam sign, but good luck trying to get a clear shot, because nowadays it's crawling with tourists all the time. Heading down the road, you'll find Vondel Park. This is Amsterdam's largest park and it's surprisingly quiet. If you're looking for a peaceful spot to take a rest, this might be the perfect place to break up your day and get away from the busy crowds. An alternative escape is MDSM. You can take a ferry over the river to get here. It was formerly a shipyard and has now been converted into a really cool space with a big flea market, bars and cafes. The whole area feels kind of post-apocalyptic, and being away from the city centre, it's relatively quiet as well. We 
recommend ending one of your days at the Adam Lookout. Here you'll get an incredible 360 degree view of the city. And what's more, you can even swing out over the edge of the building if you're brave enough. Even if you're afraid of heights, you should still head up here and take in the city as the sun goes down.